Hello everyone, Luciano Oliveira, Oliveira Lawyers. Today we are here in beautiful Lisbon, a very sunny day in Portugal, and we're going to be talking about the top five advantages of the Portugal Digital Nomad Visa. Don't forget to watch our full review of the Portugal Digital Nomad Visa, and you can find a link below in the description. So the number one advantage is that the Digital Nomad Visa can lead to a permanent residency or even a citizenship in Portugal. Even though there could be natural expectation of applicants, that's not always the case. In other countries, the Digital Nomad Visa is not going to lead even to permanent residency, what you say about the citizenship. But again, you can get those two things in Portugal. It is true that you need to stay in Portugal for five years, but trust me, five years living in such a beautiful and pleasant country is going to happen in a minute. Another advantage of the Portuguese Digital Nomad Visa is that you're going to get access to all the European countries. That means 27 countries to which you're going to have free access as a resident in Portugal. Another main advantage is the amazing IT infrastructure. Trust me, you're going to get very high internet speeds no matter where you are in Portugal, either Lisbon, Porto, it could be Faro, down in the south, any cities. They have an amazing IT infrastructure and that's going to help with your digital nomad work. Another thing, Portugal is famous for its low cost of living. This morning, I had a wonderful breakfast for just three euros. I guarantee when I am in the United States for 3 euros or I mean 3.5 US dollars or 4 dollars, I cannot even go to McDonald's to have like a breakfast that I personally cannot really stand. This low cost of living is going to help you live an amazing life in Portugal in which you can travel to many places, you can eat like really high quality food and have all the leisure you deserve. Portugal is also a highly stable country and it is ranked consistently as one of the top five safest countries in the world. All right, we're going to have three bonus advantages of applying for the Digital Nomad Visa in Portugal. Bonus tip number one, Portugal is very friendly when it comes to foreign citizens. That's important for you because if you want to come to this country and live a good life, you're going to need friends, you're going to need a place in society, and Portugal makes that very easy for foreign citizens. Bonus advantage number two, language and communication. In Portugal, pretty much everyone speaks English, and therefore, even if it takes you a little bit long to learn the Portuguese language, you're going to be absolutely fine speaking and writing in English. Bonus advantage number three, the public services, in particular health services, are very high quality and again low cost particularly if you're coming from the united states in which health services are crazily expensive you're gonna be pleasantly surprised here in portugal because again you're gonna have access to many high quality physicians and state-of-the-art health services for a tiny fraction of what you would pay in the united states of america so what is your opinion about these pros I just discussed? What do you think about the Portugal Digital Nomad Visa? Do you know about other Digital Nomad Visas? How does Portugal Digital Nomad Visa compare to others? Let me know your opinion here in the comment section. And don't forget to download our ebook addressing the seven most common mistakes foreign citizens make when applying for the Digital Nomad Visa. See you in our next video.